This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Hey, what is up fam? This is your big bro Joey. Um, I was doing a reading before and the first card that we got out was take care of your body. This is going to be the continuation of that. I was going to make a separate reading about this marriage here because we have a marriage, some sort of you meeting, a faded meeting with you and somebody special here. Somebody, you're about to meet somebody important, a significant experience, and this is going to come as some sort of shock or surprise because you are not expecting this. There's going to be some sort of surprise message, spiritual message, physical message, DM, announcement, some sort of conversation, something that you'll have with a specific person, some sort of proposal may be made, some sort of engagement. If you guys are dating somebody and it's heading in that direction, you've been getting the inclination that is going in that direction. It may, this may very well be um, an acknowledgement of that, or you're going to meet somebody who is going to go through phases. And a part of the phases is um, you getting to know each other, talking, okay? Um, a proposal taking place, like the, the relationship, relationship progressing and transforming, and then ultimately, ultimately ending in some sort of marriage or some sort of long-term partnership and commitment with another person, okay? This is what we got here on the horizon, okay? And this person, this is an ideal individual because um, with this person, you're gonna be living the soft life. So this is not gonna be somebody who's gonna come into your life and, and shake things up for the worse. This is gonna be somebody who's gonna come into your life and they are going to make things easier for you, okay? I feel like you both may low-key make things easier for each other here. Hmm. Qualities, qualities, qualities. Hold up, y'all. I knew I was looking at that other day for a reason. What qualities does my partner find most attractive? So we're gonna see what qualities about you they find most attractive. I wanna pull, okay, we got heart codes right here. I wanna use this other deck, but it's underneath. It's underneath all of these decks right here, bro. Come on, bro, come on, bro. Hold up, y'all. I would want to get this one that was like under under everything, underneath underneath everything here. Good lord, good lord. Let me see what qualities I want to tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about this love, the love boat. Yeah, you know that you are spirit wants spirit, look, you look at this on the bottom of this deck, y'all. Y'all can't y'all don't sleep on my skills, bro. When CCTV is on its own, baby, on and popping like popcorn. Y'all life partner. You are attracting a life partner. Just like I said, this is confirmation. Your romance is gonna be stable and ready to go the distance. Spirit wants you to know that you are worthy. He wants you to put that in your head, drill it in your head. That you're worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. You have to make sure that you are 100% within yourself. Okay? And look, y'all mom, y'all mofo is going to be bonding, baby. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. You will find out that you have many things in common. That's why you're going to be living the soft life with this person. Because y'all want the same things. Y'all want the exact same things. It's like, y'all don't want to... We don't want no drama. <laughs> no, no drama. 
y'all don't want no drama i mean nothing's nothing's perfect right but at the same time y'all don't want no drama with each other you feel me y'all want things to 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 to, to work out hold up y'all I always be seeing these decks in my head. It's like, use this deck. Use this deck. Features. Creature features. Some of y'all got like, some of y'all, y'all both like horror movies. Some of y'all, y'all may both like uh, classic horror movies that y'all may watch together. It's not going to be for everybody. I hear somebody say, I don't like no horror movie. I, don't like I ain't talking to you then, duh. Donnie. You know what? I'm not gonna look for oh look for shit. I just saw it, but no, I don't see it. Hmm. Mm. Let me see. What qualities? Let's let's talk about it. Let's let's get into it. What qualities is your partner, is this person going to find most attractive about you? What qualities are they going to find most attractive? I need some space. What qualities are they going to find most attractive about you? They're going to find that body, that body, yada, 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 yada. They're going to find that body attractive, regardless of your weight. Regardless of how you look, you know what I'm saying? You mean, oh my God, I'm overweight. Oh my God, I'm underweight. Oh my God, my body is. Oh my God, I don't got a fat ass. Oh my God, da -da 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 -da. they don't care. They like your, they're going to like your body how it is. So you're not going to, this person is not going to want you to change anything about yourself. They're going to accept your body. However it's looking now, or when you meet them, they're going to, however, however your body be is, when you meet this person, they're going to love it, okay? They love your voice, okay? They're going to be, so turned on by your voice and so attracted to your voice and how you speak and how you articulate yourself. Something about your voice is gonna stand out, uh, stand out to this person, okay? Something is gonna be alluring about your voice. I know when people have like this voice, you'll be like, oh my God, I like that voice. They got a nice voice, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that, like, I feel like something, there's gonna be something comforting about your voice. Something that's gonna like really take this person into a dream world when they hear your voice. Wow. <laughs> oh, my mom was just going somewhere. Um, your face, the way your face is shaped. Okay, they're gonna like that. Okay, the shape of your face. Your hair, okay. If you guys have like graying hair, okay, salt and pepper hair. Even if you have white silver hair, um, something going on with your hair that you might you might like to cover up. It could be the texture of the hair, it could be the length of the hair, whatever it is. There's something about your hair that is just natural to you, okay? And it just may be like a natural of natural aging process or whatever. They gonna love it, right? So they're gonna be like, you know, to them. Let's say if you do cover, let's say if you got grays and you dye your grays, they're not gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna accept you regardless, right? Then they may not push you, oh, don't, don't put no dye in your hair. This is gonna accept you. So if you let it gray out, they're gonna accept it. If you don't, they're gonna accept it. They're gonna just like, they're gonna, um, appreciate, appreciate your maturity, okay? Yeah, what else we got here? Okay. Uh, we got Sagittarius here. The person can have Sagittarius in their chart for somebody. All right, they're gonna like the fact that you embody Sagittarius energy, even though you're not a Sagittarius, right? They're gonna like the fact that you may be adventurous, or right? you may. They're gonna like your independence. If you're somebody within the collective, if you're one of them people who are independent. They're gonna love it. Okay, they're gonna love. Um, they're gonna love your. Uh, sense of adventure okay sense of having fun for some of you guys if you embody that energy they're gonna like the fact that you guys can just have fun with each other maybe spontaneous meetings and stuff like that um they love the fact they're gonna love the fact that you guys are very very energetic or you're very very 
You stand up for yourself. You're a go-getter. You take the initiative, okay? And that, oh, I'm getting for some of you guys. For some of you guys, is they, they like the fact that you pose some sort of challenge to them, like that you're not easy to get, okay? She's playing hard to get, but she won't admit it that she likes me. She likes me. Yeah, I feel like, but it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the people that play games. I'm talking about like, that's how you naturally are. Like, not just any random could walk up to you and be like, hey, what's up? Let's go to the Rosie Mosey. And you'll be like, okay, let's go to the Rosie Mosey. It's not like that with you. You were like, you had to like get to know me. You had to like, you got to, we got to go out. We got to meet, you know what I'm saying? Talk and have conversations. We got to get to know each other. We got to vet each other out, you know? Mm -hmm. They want somebody here. You take care of your skin. You take care of your skin. Okay, and they're gonna love it. Somebody here, you might have a little sensitive skin, and they, they it's gonna be like, mm, you know, it's not gonna be not gonna mean anything to them. They're gonna like like you regardless. Okay, the skin skincare routine. Okay. Somebody here, you have exotic looks, okay? And they're gonna love that about you. They love that your looks stand out in the crowd. You may be somebody who is in a place where it's like, they know you're not from there or you look like you're not from there. Um, there's something about your looks to them that's gonna stand out. It's gonna help you stand out from a crowd, from the crowd, okay? Uh, your eyes, the eye shape, they're gonna like your eye shape. Whether they are rounded, whether they're almond, uh, they're gonna be attracted to your eyes. I feel like that's um, indicative of the the spiritual nature of the connection. That's why they're gonna be attracted to your eyes because of the spiritual nature that's in between y'all. Okay, if you dye your hair, they're gonna love it. They're gonna love whatever color. Somebody, somebody, you may dye your hair red or something like that. You may may wear a red weave or wig and they love that all right they love um i'm just hearing they love your hair whether it's natural or dyed whether you wear a wig or you don't wear no damn wig they don't they love it whatever you do they love it it's gonna turn them on okay scope your energy here they, they're gonna love the fact that you're passionate if you embody this energy here, passionate, um, there's something intense about you, okay? They're gonna find something, they're gonna find like a specific level. Like y'all ever had somebody who you attracted to and you know, you if y'all both, y'all attracted to each other and it's like, you just get around each other and it's like, y'all like two school kids and you could feel the energy is so intense the way you feel kind of weak, you know what I mean? And then you may like not know how to act. It's that kind of energy that I'm picking up here. Um, they love, they're gonna love the air of mystery about yourself. Um, they're gonna love the fact that you two are gonna have some sort of intuitive bond. Like I said, equally yoked. They're gonna love the fact that you guys have an intuitive bond with each other, a spiritual bond with each other. Something that's visceral and it's like everybody just can't see it on the outside. You guys may have, you guys may end up having some sort of, um, what do you call it? Uh, Nonverbal speech to where you're able to talk to each other's with your eyes, you feel me? Um, you're just gonna be able to know exactly what the other person means or, or, or what kind of vibe they're on, you know? They're gonna love, fall in love with your confidence with the way that you express yourself. But the fact that you are a leader, the fact that you are authentic and you're not trying to be anybody else, they're gonna love that fact, okay? And they are also gonna love the fact, uh, what am I getting here? Um, double up on the Sagittarius on the adventure and double up on the confidence on the uh, the Leo, okay? That you're a leader and that you're very, very confident and that you, that you are proud of who you are, where you come from, okay? Where you going? Sign fall on the floor. <laughs> Some of you guys have uh, uh, RBF. 
resting bitch face. Some of y'all have that. And they love it. They love the fact that, especially if you have this, if you have this like mean or this stern, this defensive, this unapproachable look, they, oh my God, it makes them melt because I'm saying, I, I see it as like some sort of challenge. You know what I mean? Um, they see it as some sort of challenge. Um, and they see that you're not easy. Just like I said, she's playing hard to get. But she won't admit it. It's like they they feel like anybody can't get you. And I feel like they they love that about you. They're gonna love that about you, especially if this if this resonates with you, this part does. They're gonna love the fact that not anybody could get your attention. Not anybody could be your lover. Not anybody could get you in the bed. You feel me? It's like, no, you're gonna have to work for it. You feel me? You just can't just pop out and say, hey, let's date. <laughs> no, it's like you're going to have to work for it. And they love the fact that you are not going to get involved with nobody unless you guys are kindred spirits. Unless you feel like you guys are soulmates or that you guys, guys have something in common. We have something in common. Like you got something in common. That's the only... Yeah, I feel like they love that. They love the fact that, like, you're not easy. Easy like Sunday morning, what I just heard. Easy like Sunday morning. Something like that. Um, They love the fact that you analyze the situation before. Like, you you, you analyze people. You want to get to know people. Um, That you have to talk. You have to have conversations. You have to... There has to be a dialogue. I, I feel like they're going to love the communication between you guys. They're going to love the fact that like, oh, this person actually knows how to talk. They know how to communicate. They know how to express themselves. They know how to articulate. You ever talk to people to where it's like, you feel like you pulling, you got to speak for them. Mm, turn off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you're not like that. You're somebody who knows how to speak up for themselves. Somebody who knows how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Who knows how to carry on a conversation. Communication. If you're one of the people who are a great communicator, they're going to love this. You're gonna be, I'm, I'm getting Mercury energy here. They're going to fall in love with your intellect. They're going to fall in love with your mind. This is they, When they see you, the initial is going to be physical, but it's going to turn into like, what is that? Sapio, sapiosexual? It's going to be more about your mind, okay? It's going to be more about your mind versus your looks. Your looks is, or there's something, some sort of key feature about you combined with the energy, combined with the passion and energy that's going to be exuding because you guys are like kin, you're equals, or you're meant to meet this person. Like there's something behind the initial meeting. They're going to be attracted to your mind, okay? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like, damn, you just I love talking to you. Like we can have we can have you know how some people is like they just don't mesh well together. They argue. Always explaining explaining like explaining yourself. Oh no, I didn't mean that. I meant this. Oh no, I didn't mean that, I mean this. Oh my. it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be I understand you. You feel me? And if you explain it something, it's going to be minuscule. It's not going to be like major, like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have with this video, I'm going to have like a, a smaller audience because, um, <laughs> Wait, I know people like drama, so if it's not about drama, most people don't watch it. But I feel like I have a, I have a loving, intimate group with this these types of readings that I post when I do love readings. It's a more intimate, loving, uh, group. So I'm a confirmation. So I'm able to more so hone in and channel in. Um, you're more so alike in many ways to people who watch who watch my readings like this. So I feel like it's going to hit home for a lot of individuals who watch this reading. Okay. Somebody going to love the fact that you know where you come from. 
You know who you are. You are proud of your ancestry. Whether you have a uh, mixed ancestry or not, you proud of who you are. Nobody can tell you who you are. I feel like they're going to love learning about your country of origin. They're going to they're going to love learning about your culture in general. You guys may be opposites, not opposites, but you know, you, yeah, you could be opposites or you could be like, you know, just somebody from a different um culture than this individual. And they're going to love that fact because they're going to like, "Oh my god, now I get to learn about somebody else." You know what I'm saying? I get to learn about their culture like this person is going to want to know if you speak another language than them they're going to want to learn that they may want to learn that language you know what i mean or even if they speak another language they're going to they're going to love the fact that you might want to learn their language all right somebody oh this person confirmation here confirmation in my ear what let me see what this confirmation said <sighs> mm. This person is going to be extra turned on by your lips. It doesn't matter if you got voluptuous lips or you got smaller, thin lips. They're going to be turned on by your lips, whether they small, medium or large. They're going to be turned on by your lips. They're going to be turned on by your mind, by your maturity. OK, that came out again. So that's going to be a strong focus on your mind. Like. I feel like this person is not into empty heads. You feel me? <laughs> People that they, that, that yell, ooh, 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 ooh. they're not into that. You feel me? They're into more so uh, people who, you know, who are more mature minded, and they're gonna be very, very appreciative of that. Somebody here, if you wear wigs or extensions, they gonna die for that. You feel me? They gonna love your wigs. They gonna love your lace front. They're going to love your extensions. You know what I'm saying? They're going to love your clip-ins or whatever you put. They're going to love it. Okay? Yeah. They're going to love it. Somebody here, they're going to be, they're going to love your nails. Whether you keep them long or short, manicured, whatever. There's going to be something distinctive. Whether it's the shape of your nails, the way that you groom your nails. This could be somebody who um, is into... Uh, who really looks at that like let me let me let me check his fingernails let me check her fingernails let me see if they look dirty they look da 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 they they may they that may be on the top of their list they may not like people with dirty fingernails you feel me and this person's gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna like uh your nails also too i feel like there's a lot of key things that's gonna turn turn uh them on about you okay mentally physically spiritually emotionally They like the way you they're going to like the way you dress, especially if you those of you who dress like in loose fitted clothing or you just wear more casual wear. You know and I'm saying comfortable clothes, flowy clothes, relaxed clothes. They love it. They love that. They love the way that you express yourselves when it comes to your clothing. OK, and so you don't have to be like, oh, my God, I got to go and wear a suit and a formal dress. and da -da -da. No, no, no. They're going to love you just how you are. Right. Um, they're going to love the fact that they're going to love how you live your lifestyle or they're going to love your ideal lifestyle. So like whatever lifestyle you have for yourself is going to be compatible with that person. So if you're somebody who's wanting to climb the ladder, the ranks, and you want to be more wealthy and you want to live a more privileged life, this person may all, all, they may already come from that lifestyle and ready to bring you on a board or they they want the same thing and they're and they will work to build with you to create that lifestyle okay yeah somebody they love the way that you laugh they love your disposition they love especially if you're goofy if you if sometimes you may be goofy you may laugh you may have this youthful spirit about yourself calm cool you're welcoming they love that about you they love it love it love it love it love it OK, if you wear contact lenses, whether they're colored prescription or for fashion, whatever, they're going to love that as well. They're going to be mesmerized by your eyes. They may love your eye color in general. OK, love your eye color. Love, love, love your eye color. All right. 
let's get some different energies here. So many manifestation. Heart codes. I pulled this heart codes deck, so let me see what we got here. What we need to know from this heart codes deck for the collective. They love your authenticity right out the gate. Look at this. They're going to love your authenticity. So Spirit is telling you to be authentic with this individual. Be yourself. Don't try to perpetrate a fraud. Don't try to be who you think they want you to be. No. Because who they want you to be is yourself. Who this person is going to want you to be is you. So make sure you are not pretending to be anybody else because mm, you might very well sabotage it by not being yourself okay yeah uh fear okay some of you guys may have fear when it comes to this connection you may have fear that um a third party is going to happen or this person is not single or some of you guys have been in a third party connection in the past and you may fear that other people are going to do the same way Okay, you may have to deal with that. Okay, you may have to really heal yourself. Okay, and not project or take things out on other people. This person may have other people vying for their attention. Okay, at that time that may initiate some sort of fear. This person may be sought after, but this person is checking for you. For me, they're checking for you. Oh, something else fell on the floor too from the other deck. Your hair, especially if you have wavy, curly, shiny hair, they're gonna love that. Small curls, tiny, tiny curls, I'm seeing. Wavy hair. Harmony, yo, see? This connection is bringing more harmony into your life. I feel like this person is gonna be exactly what you've been searching for. This person may have been searching for you. You may have been searching for this person. Okay, there's gonna be a strong attraction between you guys, okay? Your connection may be under a little bit of scrutiny or criticism, but you're gonna to have to know that what you want is what you want. Who wants you is who wants you. And if you guys love each other, that should, that should be the only thing that matters, okay? That should be the only thing that matters. Tell me about this criticism. Give me a card on this criticism, please. Oh, I got three cards on the criticism. Somebody, if, if some for some of you guys, if you are not, you don't feel like you're stable in your life like that, this person may be more stable than you. And you may, uh, some people may be like, oh, she's just trying to use him. She She's a gold digger. Oh, he's a gold digger. Da, da, da. Don't worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Focus on yourself. Assumptions. People may be assuming things about you, assuming that you, you're just wanting this person for what they have, who they are, how they look, or whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. And we got time apart. You may. Some of you guys have been out of the dating pool for a long time. Okay. Some of y'all been out of the dating pool for a long time. So just give yourself. Don't be hard on yourself when you're jumping back out there. Okay. This is a brand new individual. It is not an old person that I'm picking up here. A brand new person here. What do we what do we need to know for manifesting this connection here? What do we need to know for manifesting this connection? Or making the right moves. What else we got here? Anything else? Gratitude. Look at this ring, baby. Gratitude. I am open to receiving and giving love. With joy and gratitude, I welcome you into my life. So it's based on just be thankful for meeting this person or meeting that new person, meeting that new love, meeting that soulmate, right? Uh, being in a specific harmony with another person. Just be grateful about it and don't take it for granted is what I'm getting. Creativity. 
It says, I am excited to collaborate with you and curious to see what we create. You see what I'm talking about? This person wants to work with you, not against you. This is going to be somebody that wants to work with you. Who are child? The energy that we're challenging here, uh, channeling here is not somebody who is going to. And this may be challenging for you because I just was uh, saying the word challenge. So for some of you guys, it may be a challenge because it may be something differently than you, uh, your last connection or something like that, right? When two create, when two creative souls join forces, the results can be profoundly beautiful and rewarding. I feel like both of you guys are very, very creative. Both of you guys want to create this soft life, want to have this beautiful life together, and. You know, if you both play your cards right, that is what you will create for yourself. Denial. What truth about yourself are you avoiding that could be interfering with your openness to love? So you have to really take a, um, a, a, a firm and unbiased look at yourself in the mirror. What is something about yourself that you could be dealing with that could really be uh interfering with his openness to love I, I there's another deck i need i need to get there's another deck i need to get where is it and this is gonna go perfect perfect let me see y'all uh, hold up y'all hmm. there you go so Denial. What a, what truth about yourself are you avoiding? Let's look look in there. I'm gonna look at um this blocks to love. Like what is blocking your love? Not feeling good enough. So somebody you might not be feeling good enough about yourself. Feeling like you're not worthy. No, let let's cut that out. You feel me? Because you deserve this. If you didn't deserve it, you wouldn't. It wouldn't be coming to you. You feel me? Some of y'all, yeah, you may be judging yourself too harshly. Be know that you deserve everything that's coming to you. If you want it, if you wanted a marriage, if you wanted a soft life, if you wanted a proposal or you wanted a life partner, just allow it to happen and just have fun with it. Right. Victimhood. Some of y'all could be still living in victimhood, feeling like uh, somebody's going to do you something or still feeling uh, hurt from past situations. It's time for us to really try to our best to heal. If you can't do it on your own seek therapy or help to help you work through those emotions so that you can leave that part of yourself behind because that might be what is blocking your openness to love right Ooh, control issues i know this stuff is tough though you know what i mean control issues wanting things to go a certain way um feeling like you know what's best and i'm getting Wanting things to be a certain kind of winner, they don't go that way. Can remind you of something of the past and can to, could put you into uh, an anxious state of mind. Okay, subconscious projections. You see what I'm talking about? It's like if something don't go your way, you may be thinking, "Oh my God, she's he's doing this. Oh my God, they don't love. Oh my God, da 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 da." da. Just uh, I'm hearing somebody. You may be prone to letting your imagination run wild. You know. The thing about it is, is that if this was not possible for it to happen to you, this love connection, then it wouldn't be coming up in this reading. OK, just want you guys to know that. Right. This is a possibility. Belief that others are only are the only source of love. So this is like codependency on other people. This is like high expectations of other people. Uh, perfectionism when it comes to other people. It's like you have to know that love starts at home first. Right. Love starts with you first. That's when you embody that love. You're supposed to be the only the first person you fall in love with yourself. You feel me? Fear of vulnerability, fear of opening yourself up. You see what I'm talking about? What could be interfering with your openness to love is like you don't want to be vulnerable because you may feel like if you're vulnerable, somebody's going to make you a victim. And the only way you're going to really truly get to know somebody is being vulnerable. And being, you know, okay with the potential of being hurt, you know what I mean? And not being afraid of that, knowing that you could get through it. Believe that true love doesn't exist. Somebody here, you may believe that true love doesn't exist. 
So how can you manifest true love and how can you cultivate a relationship uh, with true uh, true love if you don't believe that it's possible, okay? Not following your heart, like not listening to your heart. Your heart's telling you, go here, do that. Trust this person, trust the situation, go see how it is. Da -ra -da -ra -da -ra. And you may be like, mm, no, I'm scared. No, and toxicity. Some of you guys, you may still be, you may still, you may have some sort of toxic habits, okay, that you might need to work out. None of us are perfect, okay? Some people here may be a little argumentative. Some people may be a little judgmental, okay? When, you, when you're taking the, um, when you're looking in the mirror, sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes, you know, we might not want to hear this about ourselves, but sometimes that might be what's holding us back from finding true love. And for somebody here, that is a card that came out. So some of us may be a little bit too toxic and maybe you need to work that out. Some of us, some of us may have learned our toxic ways from our parents or from seeing them or from other connections that we were in. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we like doing things. And it's like, no, this person right here, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is a loving, healthy person, right? So I feel like they working on themselves and you working on yourselves and you two, the only way that you can truly, truly come together is if you, you know, work out whatever kinks that you have that may be uh, making you feel like you're not ready for love or that's preventing you from opening up to love here, okay? Um, Let me get a closing message for you guys. And then we'll close this out. What do we need to hear for the collective? My talents and gifts deserve to be shared with others. So Spirit is wanting you to open up. Know that you're a beautiful person on the inside and out. Open yourself up. And to not be afraid, right? I'm hearing, don't be afraid of the way you feel. It's real love. Yeah, op open up because it's this real love right here, baby. You feel me? So it's like you have to prepare yourself to be in alignment. It's about being in that frequency, being in that flow, being in that, being on the correct radio station, the radio frequency station as this other person so that you could feel it and then you can have a healthy you know what I'm saying? Marriage uh, connection, okay? That's what I got for you guys today. Hope you like it. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, take care. Ciao. Mm -hmm.